Pests and diseases cost farmers money. They damage the crop and so, of course, lessen the value of the crop. So being able to manage them in the most effective way is, is very important. In a, an integrated pest management program, we look at ways of managing pests and diseases from the very beginning of how do you actually prevent them getting and started in the crop. Prevention is better than cure. And then we work through to ways of managing them if they do become a problem after that. Some of the key prevention options are good healthy soils and good healthy plants, managing the environment around the farm, and biosecurity. Healthy soils means improving the soils with composts that can give a good soil environment for crops to take off and around the root zone. Well, healthy plants actually can produce compounds that will deter insects from feeding on them. And the same for the soils. Good healthy soils has many bacteria active in it that will actually resist fungal diseases attacking the, the root zones of plants. It's a good starting point. The healthier your crop, the less likely it's going to be attacked by pests and diseases. Examples of physical management are things like windbreaks that can block insects from being blown in on prevailing winds, managing the drainage on the farm so you don't have particularly wet areas where diseases can develop in the soils and those sort of areas. Another aspect of physical management on the farm would be companion planting or leaving areas where there are refuges for naturally occurring beneficial insects to build up and then come back into your crop. When we talk about biosecurity, we're talking about trying to manage equipment, people, machinery that might be coming onto the farm carrying problems like weed seed or diseases in mud on the, in the wheel arches uh, or on people's boots. A good basic part of biosecurity is Visitors to the farm should be taken around on the farmer's own vehicles rather than driving their vehicles through the farm. Another critical part of integrated pest management is monitoring, knowing specifically what you have in the crop and when you have it, and then you can plan an effective management for it. Part of the monitoring also involves looking for what might also be there controlling pests and diseases. There are naturally occurring beneficial insects that will feed on many pest insects. Certain times of year, ladybird numbers can build up very high if you haven't been spraying the wrong chemicals. And they're a wonderful general predator. They'll feed on heliothis eggs, caterpillars, aphids, and young thrips as well. As well as um, naturally occurring beneficial insects, you can buy commercially available insects which are very well targeted towards certain pests. They're more effective in certain crops and at certain times of the year. Some vegetable crops like sweet corn, we do use some biological controls, some parasitic wasps in. In other crops like uh, strawberries, they use predatory mites and parasitic wasps. In protected cropping, polytunnels and glass houses, they're much more commonly using biological controls where the environment is managed and controlled. When things get out of balance, if weeds, diseases or insects are out of balance, you then need to make a decision about how you're going to step in and deal with that physically or with chemicals. There have been problems with older, broader spectrum chemicals that most of the serious pest insects have developed resistance to now. So understanding newer chemicals and how they can work more specifically to manage pests but also preserve the beneficial population is really important. The key points of an integrated pest management program would be prevention, good monitoring and the right selection of an intervention. And you can get advice on that from independent consultants like myself or from the local land services.